Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And I was on that uh, live stream that CP the Tool Addict did last Friday, and uh, he had gotten himself a pair of Klein um, strippers. I can't remember, I think they might have been this one. Um, and he was, it sounded like enjoying them, and that was great. And he said he was kind of, I don't know, new to Klein tools, might have had a few. Um, but I've had Klein for a long time, and I've slowly been kind of upgrading and collecting, and then I actually embarked on a Klein project, um, gosh, I don't know, maybe three years ago. And uh, I thought I'd show CP what, I, uh, what I've done. Um, so these are just some of the common Kleins that I have floating around in my toolbox. You might have seen them in other videos. Let me set them out of the way to make some room for my Klein project. And here it is. It is the Klein backpack, and I uh, thought we'd take a little tour through it. Um, on the uh, outside, I've got my large cable cutters. I've got a smaller pair I prefer. I've got my stapler you've seen before. Got my Klein tape measure. Um, this is the Tradesman backpack, heavy duty base. Kind of like that. Um, but let's open this guy up. Oh, and a few other things. Let's see. I've got my Klein carabiner with a Klein demagnetizer here. And on the outside, I've got some things. What do I have in this pocket? I've got my uh, USB A and C tester. Um, tough multimeter there, little smaller one uh, there, right here. Got my larger Klein. Uh, this is the MM700, love this thing. Um, actually, I have a couple of these in service right now. Uh, up here in this, this pouch, which is probably where you'd put your safety glasses, got my, my older USB tester. Klein flashlight, and then kind of my general go-to meter. This is the MM400. These are also the ones that I carry in vehicles. Um, and now let's crack this guy open. Opens up like a giant oyster or clam. It's designed to basically spread out. So, um, just my camera so you might maybe you can see a little more of this thing. What I've got uh, up here, um, Klein multi-tool, Klein uh, jab saw or keyhole saw, um, electrician snips. I've got a whole bunch of different um, Klein nut drivers and screwdrivers spread out, both long and short, multi-drivers. These guys are pretty solid. This one's got a tapping end. Uh, more cable cutters, the handheld cutters here, needle nose, small ones, uh, dykes, uh, another old set of, they're kind of classic wire strippers, can't have enough of those. Um, I like their, uh, their needle nose, big, huge, solid tips, just kind of wonderful. Not going to get this stuff back together. Um, micro screwdrivers. Uh, down here, um, you can kind of see inside there. Most of them are labeled. Oh, there's a stubby, I think. Nope, it's a 3 8 driver there. Um, stick the quarter back in and 3 8 on top of it. Stick that one up there. Sometimes these are a little persnickety to get stuff in and out of. Um, Klein knife. Uh, their um, wire tool for uh, mostly rebar work. A couple of Allen tools down here. Um, their big one, whoops, big one and their small one. Um, this is a newer one. It also goes way up. This is, I um, can't remember the size, their biggest size here. See if it says on it. Should know that, but I don't know what that is, half inch or something. So let me, there it is, half inch, yeah. Anyway, 
um, for the US size. I wish they made a metric version of this. That would be handy. Levels down here in this end. Uh, lineman, another multimeter. <coughs> GFCI tester with a splitter for the multimeter. Um, another GFCI in there. This one's got the uh, trigger. I don't think that one does. Yeah, so I can fire it off and test it. Um, and I just ordered their new, the new Klein GFCI tester that actually gives you a digital readout so you don't have to, you know, play whack-a-mole trying to figure out which combination of lights means what. Um, this is uh, my preferred cable cutter. Um, I do, when I'm doing work on like RVs with the 30 amp service, I end up grabbing a, you know, a lot of line that's pretty big. Let me show you what happens here. Um, if I grab my, let's see, what's a good one? Here we go. I'll use this guy. This is one of my favorites. But if I grab this, wedge it in there. Uh, and you know, I barely even get through the plastic there. So it's not really of a whole lot of use. Um, however, get a hold of this, drop it in there, can even push it up a little tight, and then check it out. Whoops, not straight. Good enough. You can see me just nip through that. If I wanted to cut it straight, this just frees up and, and pivots, so I can drop it in. And then I'll line this one up straight. There, look at that. This snips it off just like a cookie dough. Beautiful. That's why you want one of these. They actually make a new one. Um, I don't have it, um, but what it is is a uh, um, basically two horizontal or parallel jaws that close so you can you can go right up to something and snip it whereas this one you obviously have to get it inside um, inside the hole um, linemans um, I really like their hybrid pliers I'm going to do a video on these there are several different kinds um, where they've taken the standard sort of a, um, stripper and then combined it with some lineman features, big cutters, bolt cutters, stripper, um, and then a much thicker profile. So you can see how they're really going after that giant um, grabbing. So this is kind of a one size fits all crimper down here. These are great. They make one that's a little bit less than this one. Um, and then one that's about two steps less than this one. Uh, actually, I've got those right here. They're ones I threw on the ground. So this is kind of their lineup of these hybrid pliers. Um, this one, they've gone to that kind of comfort curve. Same with this. This is more conventional. Um, you can see the profiles of the jaws are about as wide, but they're a little bit different um, in terms of the, uh, the size and shape. And then um, the uh, number of features they might have changes a little bit. But overall, these are, I mean, it's, it's a great design, great idea. Glad Klein's exploring with that. Um, you can see just they're, they're still in evolution. It's kind of fun watching because they come out with new variations. So they're obviously playing around, you know, no spring. These two are spring loaded. The, this one doesn't have a, a, um, a way to lock it. This one does. Um, comfort handles, different materials. Kind of the bi-plastic here versus a hard plastic um, or a bi-material there. But anyway, so that's what's going on there. Um, and then what else? This kind of fun Klein Crescent Wrench or Klein Adjustable Wrench. Klein, I wonder who makes this. Um, Klein Tools Knipex Wrench, kind of like their Cobra. Um, I'm assuming because of the uh, the design, I don't think they fringed on any patents there. Um, this is their wire stripper needle nose, spring loaded, and then I, they don't have locks, and I wish they did. Um, but like I've shown you before, I just use inner tubes um, to hold those. But these, I mean, just the the profile on something like that, so handy, you know. And then this is probably my second favorite, although I've got a couple of Knipex coming in that 
um, are a little bit more duck build on the end, and I think that might be quite helpful. But again, this is for Klein. This is about Klein. Um, Multi-driver with, with the uh, security bit set there. Um, I've got a few different kinds of levels, of Klein levels. Um, more hexes. This is one of their original ones. This was also an older one. This one actually uh, um, goes down a lot smaller. And oddly, the small ones in SAE are the ones I use, and then everything in my world pretty much jumps up to metric. Um, the uh, wire strippers with the uh, cutter on the top, I really like these, um, but I also ordered some Knipex ones, so I'm curious what those are going to be like. Um, these are great for cutting cables um, or round wire rope, things like that, kind of smaller, because it forces the, uh, you can see kind of the hole there, as it closes, it forces it together, so you get a cleaner cut. It doesn't smear it like uh, trying to cut with something like this would, where it just as it closes, it makes a V and forces the cable out, so you get a funny kind of angle cut. Um, uh, Multi-bit driver. This one's got the um, square and hex, or in Torx. Another multi-bit, this one's ratcheting. Um, and this guy's also got the nut drivers in it as well. Um, these are heavy and big, but they are convenient. Anyway, uh, that's the majority of uh, what I've done here, kind of collecting these clines into um, one spot. And this actually goes with me sometimes when I've got a particular job, I'll just grab the whole bag um, if I'm doing computer work or some electronics. Um, but then I've also found I like having um, a lot of the same tools in other locations too. So I've managed to double up over time on a bunch of the clines. Um, but anyway, so CP the Tool Addict, this is for you. You should get more into Klein tools. They're great. Um, super high quality. Most of them are made in America. Not the electronic stuff, but the, the um, uh, you know, the metal tools, metal hand tools. Most of them are U.S. Um, I, they have different lines. The Journeyman, Journeyman 2000. Um, they've upped the handles. You know, you can just see it's just fun watching the evolution. And Klein's one of those innovative companies that pretty much always has something new um, that's coming out. And I like that they take something. Like, I, I got this when these first came out, and I used it. And then this one, I did, think I did an unboxing on it. But this is their, you know, USB-C version, um, which gives me a little bit more um, accessibility. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing just some converters that I could put onto my standard probes for um, using, you know, my my better machines than individual standalone ones. Um, anyway, Klein Tool, absolutely love them. Love them, love them, love them. Um, so get some. With that, dock out.